This is fun. This is like the old days. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm so glad to be with you today. Thank you so much for joining. Well, it's my pleasure. So Skype does group video now, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I've seen so, yeah. Cool. Okay. So, um, can you hear me okay? Yes, perfect. Okay, good. And All Rita, right. I just have to say, your webcam image is just sharp as could be. It looks lovely. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, I, I'm... Oh, what am I hearing? I'm hearing an echo, but I'm not sure where that's from. But anyway, I can hear fine, I think. So, hello everybody. This is Matt Stevens and Aline, United Arab Emirates. We're learning together today. We're truly learning together. And uh, we're learning a bit from Jeff LeBeau. We'll tell you about what we just did as we get started. We, we set up a hangout but we were not able to make it work because of wonkiness in the audio. So just to test our audio, Jeff Skyped me or vice versa. I think I may have called him in the end. And that audio worked fine. So we decided to go with um, a, oh, it looks like I'm on, on the hangout. My hangout cam is working, that's great. We're, I'm recording this in Camtasia. Uh, Jeff will tell you what he's doing in a minute, but what we're trying to do is to work out what we can do about um, compensating for the fact that Hangout on Air will no longer work as it did uh, September 12th. So we're um, anyway. Well, let's let's Jeff. Let's we we couldn't get the Hangout to work just now. We think maybe they're already pulling the crutches out from under it. You never know. We had audio difficulties. So how did you get to where we are right now? Oh, it's been a long, winding journey. Um, I might suggest, Vance, that in the Hangout, either we can close the Hangout or mute your webcam so that we can see your webcam and Skype. Ah, okay. Yes, all right. I will close the Hangout then. Hangout's just not going to happen. Right, because that's not even streaming. All right, so I will... Okay. No, it's not streaming. I'll go ahead and close uh, that as well. Okay, so that's a good idea. Let's see. So my webcam and Skype, okay. Um, here we go. There we are. Webcam and Skype is now on. And looks like it's loading. Um, so there, wow, you have great looking webcam also, Vance. Well, thank you very much. Uh, my webcam, yes, it's quite nice. Uh, it's a lovely little webcam. It's a little sort of a bright laser point staring at me right now, but it, it does look lovely, that's for sure. Um, so the first thing I'll say is that it's not that Hangout on Air is being closed or disappearing or anything like that. My understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that it's they're really just taking it out of Google+. It sounds to me like Google+, Plus is on its way out. And so they're moving stuff out of there into other places. And so they're just incorporating it into uh, the YouTube live streaming. So when you go to your YouTube page, uh, you have a live streaming option. And if you click events, uh, one thing you can do, and I can actually do this from my YouTube page maybe. So if I go to my, where do I go? My channel? Uh, oh, Creator YouTube. Studio, right? Yes. Pull down your icon, your profile right. icon, and Creator Studio is one of your options. Right. And so then if you go to live streaming, uh, mm -hmm. you'll have the option for events. And when mm -hmm. you create a new event, mm -hmm. uh, you put in down here under type, you have quick using Google Hangouts on Air or custom. Oh, okay. And so the quick means you'll just create an event. You, that's where Hangouts on Air will live. I see. Okay, so actually that's probably where I went off. I created a custom because I thought, well, Hangouts on Air, that's, we're not going to be able to do that. But I suppose uh, 
that option will work after September 12th. Is that what you think? That was my reading. When the link that you posted uh, to the official announcement, oh, no, that's uh, Alan's, yeah, the support thing here, uh, they're moving from Google Plus to YouTube Live. So uh, that's really... Okay, okay. That's really it. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's where said, I went yeah. off. Yeah, I'll go back and revisit that. Uh, if you want to show my slides, uh, you could. We, we could just page through what we just said, because and then I then yep. uh, I could talk you through those because yep. we, we got this from uh, Cog Dog Blog, Alan Levine. Uh, that there's his blog right there. Uh, he. Uh, What have we got up there? Learning, yes, I think. Uh, oh, yes, you have to go back to the first slide. You've got that slide up there. Okay, so this is something I just, this is a slideshow that I just put together through screenshots. I just tested this out. I haven't really had time, but I just tested this out uh, today. Okay, there we go. So I made this little uh, quick um, Google slideshow. Basically, what to do about it. I, I went through the video that uh, Alan posted. He posted a video, I can't remember the, who made the video, but if you go to his blog post, which we can put, well, the links are at learning together, uh, well, a tiny, a tiny URL, tinyurl.com slash learning together. Uh, the links are there now. Uh, we can put them, when I get my fingers working and not my tongue, we can, uh, put them in the chat wing as well. <clears throat> but what, um, basically, in, in that video, he, he posted a video that someone made that shows you how to do what Jeff just did. And when you get to the point where you, you don't have the option to embed, embed your video, then you have to go activate WebSense. Uh, have you got WebSense associated with your YouTube account? Um, that was going to be my question. What, what is WebSense? Oh, AdSense. AdSense, AdSense. okay. Not WebSense. Ad, yeah. Ad, yeah. You've got, have you got AdSense activated? Uh, I have that option, and I, yeah. I okay. toss it in occasionally. Okay. I, I do, too. I set it up on a blog, one of my, my diving blog. I put some ads there just to see. I, I think I've made about 18 cents in the last couple of years, but anyway, um, yeah, so you have to have AdSense activated. If you do, if you if you want to uh, go back to my slides, we can, sh yeah, okay, now you're, sh you're showing it live, yeah? Okay. I'm showing uh, so, Alan's video, but back to your slides. Yeah, or, or you can, okay, yeah, so that's, that's one, one way to do it. Jeff, okay, he's actually showing the video right now where it explains the difference between Hangouts, how you set up the, the Hangout. You have to, you have to if, act, if WebSense is activated, then you have a, uh, a place where you can embed your video. If you page through the slides, we'll come to that. Okay, back to your slides. It's, is that my slides? Uh, here they are, here we are. Okay. No, that's the video. Wait, you're, you're watching something that's like 15 seconds behind. Because, oh, I see. Yes. But I'm, I'm following every word. Okay. 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 I, I see now the first slide where you pull down your profile and then you click on uh, Studio create, Creator Studio. Okay. That's what I see now. So page to the next one. Or when I ah. see the next one. Okay. I, I could probably do this on. Uh, I don't see it yet, so let me go and get it from my own. Okay, so uh, let's see. Okay, so you know the other thing you could uh, do I is if you want to. Well, that's all right. Keep keep going. I was going to say you can share it in your Skype call, and I can just capture that. But it's nice seeing your face too. Okay. Well, I, if you'll. Go until you can see where uh, the embed option is has a red square around it. Oh. That's what you have to have when you create your Allow create embedding. your event, as as Jeff just showed you. 
So once you've set up your event, as he just walked you through, then you come to uh, that one right there. I think you just yeah that one that that one where the red square at the bottom. Yep. Uh, you have to have the option. You have to have you have to be able to embed your video now. And you see that under advanced settings, and that that's explained in the video. Now if if you don't see that because you haven't got AdSense associated with your account, then uh, that's a problem. And the video explains how to set up AdSense in just five, uh, five minutes. It's a seven minute video, so this took her two minutes to get to this point, and then she showed how to set up AdSense in the next five minutes. Now, uh, Alan Levine in his post tells you how to avoid that. And um, by doing experiments. If, if you uh, move forward to where you've, in my show, is to where you've already set up the, maybe if you click a slide forward and I'll, I'll, I'll see it in a moment. I don't remember, uh, let's see, I've got an alternate show here. Oh, here we go. So it, the, the next one. Uh, okay, shows, where they show uh, the URL that can be embedded after the stream. Yes, that one, yes. Uh, Yes, that one right there. So, oh, and, the, and if you go to the one before, it shows you how you get there. So there is a, uh, once you're in your video manager, your, your studio, your stream manager, then uh, you click on up, that one right up there. You click on the button in the upper right. It's covered up my, by my video. There we go. Yes, okay. Uh, what does that say? View on watch page. That's it, view on watch page. So if you click view on watch page, and then you can go to the next slide, that gives you the URL. So that URL, Alan said, he did another experiment where he found that that URL does not embed like the embed that you get. Uh, you can't embed it in a web page like we embed our streaming slides right now, but after the recording is made, it will embed. So that's one difference that I have noticed so far. That uh, with Hangouts on Air, you set up, you get, you get a, a, a URL that embeds, and then as we set it up at webheadsinaction.org/live or in other places, any place you want, you can click on that. Uh, people are possibly clicking on it right now uh, and see nothing because we never did start screaming. So um, anyway, the, that. That functionality doesn't appear to be there. Or have you found a way around that? Uh, I don't know. I'll find out on September twelfth. Like th this option would work after the live streaming, but not during. I, I I'm a little optimistic that like the the co the unique code the youtubecom slash watch question mark whatever each uh -huh. YouTube video has its own code. Yeah. You might be able to come up with uh, some s tossing that in somewhere that would work. Um, you, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to fiddle with that. Post, he had not. He said he might be able to come up with a WordPress script that would embed. Uh, I, I don't know. At the time, he hadn't done it. So. And basically, all of this is just to get around having to use AdSense. Yes. All right. Yes, that's that's correct. So However, if you're willing to use AdSense, you don't even have to do any of this. You still reach this point. You still reach the point which I still see on my uh, right. on my slide, and that is that um, you you still can't embed before the show. It it won't embed. Um, now I, I'm not certain about that, but. Uh, I don't know. We'd have to go and paste. Anyway, we'll, well, we can experiment with that later. Um, what, because I chose, I didn't choose the Hangout option. I chose the custom option. Uh, I am now. If you go on in my slideshow, you'll see that I've ended up in in coder land. Basically, uh, to run my stream, I was not able to do that. Uh. Uh, so, but I could probably go back and set that up again and try. But. Anyway, well, we'll experiment. That. Here, here it is. Uh, here, I think you just explained to me what I did wrong was I didn't put the Hangout on Air, the quick Hangout on Air option. I, and therefore, if you go one slide more, you'll see where uh, I 
have to set up an encoder. And that's what you want to avoid. That's what Alan is. Okay, and that's what I'm using now. Um, and I have to say their interface, Google, you know, supposedly simple, but like the live streaming checklist, this go live makes you feel like you should be able to click it and go live. But no, it just gives you information about going live. Um, and to, to provide some info on how you actually would set up an encoder, and again, this is not something you'd have to do if you're using a Hangout on air, but this is the Plan C thing. Um, when you set up your stream using an encoder, like the one I'm using, you need to enter certain information. And that information can be found on your YouTube page. Um, if you click Stream Now and go to the bottom of the page, you see Encoder Setup. Mm -hmm. And it gives you a URL and a stream key. And if you click Reveal, you would actually see it. And this is really all the information you need. Uh, when you have an encoder, you put that information in where it needs to be. And then when you click Start Streaming, it automatically goes to your live page. Um, I noticed that Vanessa Vale has joined us and also Benjamin Stewart. And we could probably bring them in on this call. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. That would be. So, they, so uh, we couldn't get the stream, uh, we couldn't get Hangout to work tonight. It was, um, uh, we just had no audio. So as an experiment, we just made a Skype call, and that worked fine. So we uh, moved over to Skype and never did start the stream. But uh, as people checked out uh, Chatwing, org slash uh, v a n c e s t e v. Uh, if you go there, if you're well, you wouldn't be listening unless you. Um, uh, have to be anyway. Oh, they're, they're Plan C Studio. Okay, yes, we're on the webheadsinaction.org slash live page. We're at Plan C Studio. So uh, that is working. And but by the way, Jeff, uh, you you explained earlier how you got that working. Uh, can you explain for the record how you got that work? What is Plan C Studio? Plan C is when you're on your YouTube Creator Studio, you've got Stream Now or Events. Uh, and if you click Events and create New Live Event, you can do a quick one. Which will just use, which will create a Hangout on Air, just like the old Hangouts on Air. This is where they're moving to from Google Plus, or you can click Custom. And if you click Custom, then you you're going to have to use an encoder. Yeah. Uh, and so here yeah, is a list of the. That. Well, yeah, go ahead. For if you want to hang out, no. If uh, you want to. They're, if you're streaming a conference, this might be the way to go. Um, mm -hmm. And they give you a list of different encoders here. Most of them, mm -hmm. of course, the Apple ones are probably cooler. Uh, most of them have a freemium option. Uh, but then, of course, I noticed open broadcaster software under other encoders. Uh, and so I tried that one naturally first. And it's been working very nicely. It's a fairly robust piece of software that's easy enough to use and you can choose whether you want to record your or sh you know what you want as your source whether it's your desktop or your webcam or pre a slideshow or whatever it's really painless to capture microphone audio and computer audio when I think back to the old days of how challenging that was it's much easier now um, mm -hmm. and so that's it and when you're ready to go you click uh, start streaming uh, and in the settings you will have put your your YouTube uh, encoder information uh, and you can record at the same time this is the first time I'm streaming and recording at the same time but I'm optimistic that it'll go all right yeah so um, you, you mentioned a, a software 
earlier. Was that the one you, that was the software? Yes, Open Broadcaster software, and I added a link to that in the description above uh, in note okay. from Jeff. Yes, uh, okay, I see that. Oh, I didn't add a link to that, but it, yeah, if you'll, you'll find Open Broadcasting software. Yeah, OBS project. Yes. Yeah, okay. Well, that's cool. And so, and obviously you got that embedded and it's streaming and yeah. Yeah. That's nice. So, you, well, I suppose the, the, the link that Alan said would not embed, uh, well, there's, there is a workaround right there. You're, you're doing it right now. Well, this is using the custom option. Uh, the, you know, We'll have to wait and see for September 12th if we can embed without the AdSense. And I have AdSense. So can you embed? Do, like, do you just have to have AdSense enabled for your account, or do you have to have it enabled for the particular Hangout on Air? Do you know the answer to that? Uh, AdSense, uh, let's see, when you, it, it, it yes. Uh, you have to have AdSense so that you can, under advanced settings, you can the the the, uh, the capability to embed is not great grayed out because both of us, uh, since we have AdSense associated with our accounts, making pennies every day on this. Um, since it's there, we didn't have to face the problem. But if you don't have it, you can set it up. And there's a video. The first video you see at uh, Alan Levine's blog is explains how uh, if you encounter that problem where you cannot embed, you can set up AdSense and then you can, uh, uh, you're there, you know, so you get the ability to embed. But that's true. I don't think that uh, you were able to, that you'd be able to stream if you didn't set it up. Um, Except that Alan has a, a workaround. So yeah, he... he he, uh, you read his blog post and you can see how he avoided uh, setting it up. And but I'm just, he may not, I'm just reading, I think he, yeah, go ahead. sorry, just reading John's comment, uh, mentioning Elder Bob, uh, and uh, the, how agile we are. <laughs> yes. uh, and yeah. yeah, I mean, this, this, what we're doing tonight is sort of a, a throwback where you're using Skype and streaming it in an alternative way um so i i somehow i'm not too concerned i feel like hangouts on air are still going to be around and worst case scenario you have to enable adsense or just direct people to the hangout on air page instead of embedding it somewhere um so i think the the world's going to keep spinning um yeah it, it's um it was very convenient to go to the Hangout on Air page, set it up, you get all your, everything is done automatically for you. So um, I guess that's what we're uh, kind of losing right now is that convenience until we, until we retool, we figure out uh, with the help of Alan and, and other people uh, what we're, uh, you know, how, how we're going to do it and actually make it happen without having to go through encoders and all that. And, um, how and how you can invite people to to your stream because I think what Alan did when setting it up without the uh, without the AdSense, I think he is able to. I think that's why he. That's probably why he. That's why he couldn't embed the. So this this link probably does embed because that's that's it. That's why he couldn't embed it. He could make the recording, and he could embed the recordings, but he couldn't embed. That's, so he didn't get that option, yeah, that, and that was why he didn't get it, because he didn't play the AdSense game. But, um, yeah, so with, with that invoked, you would be able to uh, have your, you know, embed it just like we, we do already, yeah. And um, to, to John De Bruyne, uh, you know, uh, who was it? I think it was, I can't remember who showed me the the post that uh, 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 Stephen Downs just wrote uh, something about uh, um, open open um, learning uh, spaces 
Did you read that? Did you see that in his? Uh... I I saw the blurb. I think in Oil Daily, but I didn't read the article. Yeah. Well, he mentioned webheads in there. And ah, yes, yes, yes. And and he said that webheads was something that happened back in, you know, uh, it had a Yahoo group that it only lasted for about a year, and that, that's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm meaning to write him about it just to uh, let him know we're still here. But um, yeah, that's that's interesting because we, uh, we we are kicking along just fine, you know. So after what 15 years now, mm. or no, is it? It's 12 years. I think that meant you only oh. invited him to one convergence. Ah, yeah. For him, webheads ceased to exist after that. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think he'd like to know how it's going. It yeah. be another data point for him, you know, so. Um, it was nice of him to mention this anyway. And, um, uh, you know, I wrote an article on webheads for the, the TESOL Encyclopedia of TEFL terms. And... They actually asked me to make this an official term that you can go to this encyclopedia. I'm sure it's numerous volumes on your shelf. No, I, I really have. A, I, I really don't know uh, the extent of it. Could be an ebook for all I know. But um, th I, I wrote an article for it, and uh, I just got a message saying that they're now at the stage where they want to know if my um, my figures were are okay to use and okay to put in print. So that means, I suppose, that they're about to, you know, they've been doing this for a couple of years. But anyhow, that's kind of nice that we're actually official. By kind of just the web heads in an encyclopedia sounds kind of strange. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't well, know I encyclopedia you, still you, existed. You could probably find World Bridges at Wikipedia. Is that, can you? I think it's in there. I don't know if it has, has its own page. I think it might be mentioned a few times. Anyway, I'm wondering, this is kind of beginning of the semester week in many places. Any uh, beginning of the semester thoughts or ideas floating around? If we have your Skype ID, you could put it in chat wing. We could bring you into the conversation. And Rita is there right now. Yeah, I am and watching attentively because you are, you know, opening new ways as usual. Yeah, we we managed to pull this one off. I'm I'm running it on Camtasia. Uh, Jeff will have some kind of recording that we can put the two together and All right, I'm make a learning net entry about them. I'm getting Benjamin's uh, ID. Let's see if we can bring him in. And I'd really like to hear what Benjamin is doing. I've, I've noticed that at the uh, Teachers for Interactive Language Learning, it's at the TIL, the TIL page, um, I, I noticed that's kind of quiet now. It's uh, I'm posting there, but it used to be that my posts got buried amongst a lot of other pages. But but uh, it's Dr. Benjamin now. Oh. Uh, yeah, here we... we call people, everyone, you'd be Dr. Jeff, Dr. Rita, Dr. Vance, you know. but of course in the world out there is Dr. Stewart. Uh, Benjamin, I just added you to my Skype contacts. Somehow I don't think it's letting me add you to the call until you accept me. And Rita is doing quite a lot of interesting things. She's making, uh, she, she's uh, featured often on the Globinar series by Dur uh, Jürgen Wagner. Uh, are you familiar with the Globinars? There's one tomorrow with Russell Stannard. Uh, I've heard something, but would love to hear more. Yeah, this is uh, Jürgen Wagner in Saarbrück uh, in Germany. Uh, is it Saarbrück or Saarland? Uh, anyway. Saarland. Saarland. Saarland, yeah. yes. Uh, he he runs he does these uh, two or three times organization. a month. Organization, yes, he's running organizations and inviting teachers from all over the world to give uh, webinars. Mm -hmm. And um, he's, he's been quite successful. He's got big names up there. Yes, he does. Like Rita Zeinsteiger, for example. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, oh. no, no, no. I mean, <laughs> I mean, well, like, um, well, Russell. Russell is now. Russell Standard. You know, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. He's doing well at the, Quizlet tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Quizlet. And, he, and Joe Dale gives a lot of uh, presentations. Joe Dale as well. Stuff. Yeah. His, his are always pretty super. But uh, Reed is do, doing one on uh, humor. Uh, humor, yeah. What, what was the name of the... What, what was the title of that one? Uh, oh, I can't remember right now. But... <laughs> <anyway>. <laughs> Well, yeah. Well, the it, interesting thing is that she did it on Learning Together a, a, a yeah, couple I weeks did. ago. Yeah. Right, yes. So I just so. edited a little bit and uh, yeah, I do believe that humor is a, a quite an important component. Yeah, and it's really a, a good show. It had about 75 slides in it when we saw it. <laughs> oh yeah, now. it was that long, right. But Jürgen's, uh, Jürgen's sessions are usually an hour and a half. so. That's oh yeah, it's uh, too long for my yeah. For me, they are too long because they, I mean, we are not able to keep our support attentions for so long. Mm -hmm. So Benjamin is going to try to add Jeff to his contact list, and maybe that will work. Okay. And what about Peggy? Peggy is. Um, she, Peggy George. That's, she's in. Peggy's the, always presenting. She's been presenting. She is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, classroom 2.0 uh, is going strong every Saturday, and um, I think they have a global collaboration day coming up. So that the, the Steve Hargadon networks are very active. Um, so, anyway, if you have anything to say about that, Peggy, you can write it into the text chat. And we'll lay the message. But it's nice having all these collaborators. And I hope we bring Benjamin in. Find out what's going on with him. Yes, and, and Peggy mentions that she is presented also for Jürgen. If, if Jürgen has a habit of making, if you present, you get to host another presenter. So Peggy and Rita often host one another. Yeah, we do that on Twitter as well. There's Benjamin. There you are. I think I wound up making contact with a different Benjamin Stewart. Ah. Uh, so you'll be getting some Peggy calls soon. Oh guys, thank you very much. I need to leave. It's been quite enlightening and uh, I do hope that we could keep on in touch and making uh, steps forward as you always do. Thank you very, very much. Always uh, a Jeff pleasure, Rita. And Vance and hi, Ben. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, so we were planning to do this in Hangout itself, but for some reason we couldn't get the Hangout working. It wasn't it, the Hangout was working. But it was just that we had the audio was just awful. Speaking of so, which, Benjamin, uh, I don't know if you can hear us. We're getting very, uh, really, we're getting sporadic static from you. Um, you know, I do. I haven't used Skype in years, literally, and I have to say, the video quality is better than Hangouts. Yeah, we use it a lot. Communications with family, and it is quite good. It was blocked in the UAE for making phone calls, and then they made a law uh, about where they upped the fines for using VPN and uh, making it. If you use it to commit a crime, such as making a telephone call, wow. so you can't use VPN to make a telephone call. But we've noticed that uh, you can make Telephone now. You can Skype to telephones uh, without putting in a VPN. I'm not sure what uh, that was unannounced, but uh, or maybe it's accidental. Anyway, interesting aspect of life in the UAE. So anyhow, so we, well, we're experimenting now. We couldn't do a hangout. We Jeff, Jeff and I were testing hangout. Uh, testing the audio. Like, well, I wonder that. if that had less to do with Hangouts and more with the VPN, given all the... Maybe they're they're coming after you, Vance. Oh, no, no, because I, I tried it with 
uh, I, I tried to put out the VPN. I put it in the VPN after we experienced problems. So, uh, Benjamin, I'm going to go ahead and hang up on you and maybe call you back because that was not pleasant. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm, I, I think... Uh, can you can you guys hear me okay? Loud and clear. Yeah, we hear you now. Oh, Great. Okay. Yeah. Now, for some reason, I can't see any video, and I'm, probably you can't see me, I'm assuming. That is correct. We can see your smiling face. You can see my... Well, you're a photo, not your video. Oh. Yeah, you're I don't see, avatar. I don't see anybody or anything. So okay. I'm well, on We hear iPad. you fine. I don't know if that matters, but... I don't even have a way to access my video. Hmm. I haven't used Skype much uh, lately either, so I'm not sure what's going on. Well, anyway, how you doing? What's new? Great. Well, it's 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 we just start get got it got started with uh, the semester, so yeah, it's been kind of crazy. Um, yeah, we've I've got like three or four classes with. Uh, teachers teaching uh, helping them teach content courses in English I've got a course in the BA a writing course and uh, been really kind of wrapped up in this project at the university here as of late but gl glad to contact be in contact with you guys here it's been a while which yeah, project so we, we, we sorry So yeah, I was curious about uh, this latest news about Hangouts on Air. I w wasn't aware of it until I heard I got the the mail or the the notification from Vance, and I was curious. I don't know if you guys have experienced anything or looked into iPad as far as initiating these hang on it Hangout on Airs with the new um, with this you know this new method here of using uh, YouTube Live. I, I really don't know. Uh, this was today was my first attempt to start a YouTube um, live session, and uh, I failed at one particular point. But Jeff uh, hit the right button, and he uh, managed to get his stream going, and um, and he used an encoder. Uh, I would. I, I walked myself into a position where I had to use an encoder, but uh, anyway, if, if I had more time, I would have, uh, well, next time I'll try it differently, but anyway, as far as the iPad is concerned, I haven't uh, hadn't had a chance to check it out, but you would go through YouTube, and the instructions are, well, I don't know, I'd have to pull up an iPad and, and see, but it, basically you go to your profile, and you, you could maybe do it in a browser, you know, sometimes you can do that on an iPad. If you have, if you can't do it in the app, you could go to the browser and possibly get it set up. So, because I know iPad has like um, it has an app that you can broadcast through YouTube Live, but um, I don't believe it's quite the same as a Hangout on Air. It's just a a live broadcast. Um, so I don't know. I, I need to kind of look into it because a lot of the courses that I'm doing with uh, the teachers, I'm trying to or I want to begin uh, recording as many as possible so that they have kind of a, a recording of what we do in class and for those uh, it's kind of we've got two different classes going on so we've got like a, a, a first semester course and a second semester course so I, I want to try if possible to get some of the teachers uh, connected between the two groups and thought this might be one way to do it if I could possibly get it set up uh, with my preferably my iPad but yeah, I'll look into it and see if that's something that's possible. If, if you set up a stream and you go to, um, let's see, if you go to your the page where you have settings, you have basic info and advanced settings, up in the upper right corner it says view on watch page. And if you click that, you should get a URL that um, would show you where it's streaming so it should record there that's what we've discovered uh, and I, I made a little slideshow uh, maybe if someone could put a link in chat wing uh, if not I could probably go back and find it yeah I I never had much luck 
on iPads using Hangout on Air. Have you done that successfully, like starting a Hangout on Air using an iPad, Benjamin? Because to my the last time I checked, it was only I, you couldn't do a live hangout on air. It was basically one of those you'd have to do it privately. I mean, I had my contact list. I would essentially be setting up a hang on hang an HOA hangout on air with an individual person or a group of people that were already on my you know my contacts. That's how I understand it. Now, if there's another way of doing it, and I haven't found a way to do it as far as just publicly broadcasting uh you know a hangout on air as you would if you were connected to a, a de- you know a desktop yeah but you know if there's a way maybe there is a way to do it but i haven't been able to find out or figure it out yeah i i don't recall because i feel like i've looked and yeah it's 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 they were hangouts on air were always diff- more challenging to do from a mobile device participating right. from one was fine but actually organizing it and starting it from one was challenging i mean being able to broadcast just through youtube live with the ipad works fine right but you don't have that option of you know with the hand on air having a chat and you know having people join the chat and all of that um so yeah i don't know that's and that is one of the nice features of hangout on air it's just how they're automatically recorded yeah. Uh. Yeah, in the in the the YouTube live, of course, those are recorded as well. You know, but it's essentially like what Facebook Live is now. It's you know, you just set it up, go, you get a video, and you know that's in your broadcasting. But again, you don't have the the chat feature and uh, YouTube Live. It comes with the chat option, or at least there's a chat window. Enable live chat. Automatically block spam messages. Let me take a look. But that I get, my guess is that would be on the watch page. Yeah, I don't know if I can open it up now without losing right. connection. Yes. Um, okay, so here I'm looking yeah, at. Yeah, maybe I missed, missed that, but uh, there's an app. Are you on an iPad right now? No, uh, I have an iPad here, but I'm not uh, using it. Because I, yeah, I'll have to look at it again, maybe. And I feel like, oh, why did my live stream just turn off? Oh, your live stream is, you're still streaming. Oh, your live stream. Yeah. Okay. Peggy's putting some information. Um, so, Jeff, you're saying then with a YouTube Live, when you set up YouTube Live, there's an, a chat feature. Um, yeah. Hey, like when, yeah. And you're on a desktop? Yes. Okay, I, it's been a while since I've looked at it. I've been kind of on the iPad here late, and they, they have an app for iPad for specifically setting up YouTube Live broadcasts, and I don't recall seeing a, a chat, but maybe I missed it. Uh, I tried it just before this session, and I made some screenshots. And I put the screenshots in my in that slide link in um, in uh, the uh, chat wing. Uh. So you could look there if you want to get stepped through uh, the very start of it. And then, as I learn more, I'll update that. Yeah, I'll definitely take a look at that. Because you know, essentially, I guess I mean, you know, it depends on what kind of types of communication you really want to set up. But if you're just interested in chat, you know, YouTube Live might be just, um, just as good. But and I notice I have this stream set up as unlisted, so it's not public. I don't know if that affects chat.
I can see from uh, Jeff's. Uh, you're, you're probably you're, you're not. It, he's not streaming now, but uh, we do have. Uh, so I guess Peggy is not. Uh, oh, Peggy has a link in chat. Win. Okay. It says iPad for live stream from YouTube. So there's a link right there. Found yeah, I found the watch page. I'll put this into the webheads chat. You mean the chat wing? Yes. What did I call it? Yeah, webheads chat. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that's the watch page, and there's a little YouTube chat there on the side. Yeah, I'll have to go back and and check out all the links because I'm not able to access them. Right all right. I guess I could do a yeah, split, we'll, split screen here and see if that works. We're Are you guys this. uploading anything in the chat in Skype? No, I'm not. Uh, I don't think so. We're using That's chat fine. wing. That's fine. Yeah, chat. I'll go back later and check. I'm taking Camtasia shots of it. I've got um, uh, just but, scrolling there, I suppose. Uh -huh. That means you're streaming. Is that correct, Jeff? Yeah, I'm. I'm still streaming, and trying to chat, but no one's. So, again, putting uh, Hangout on Air aside here, if you're just streaming through YouTube Live, you have a chat feature, but are you able to see the participants or those or how many people are viewing? Yes. Okay. Right now, it says ten people are watching, and I think I'm like five of them. <laughs> I have this open in a few different windows. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> but it shows me my elapsed time, how many people are watching, stream health. But do we know if that same information is available via iPad? I doubt it. Okay. Yeah, I... Because that, that would be... That's the thing. Unless maybe there's a special YouTube Live app that might be the way it works, but I don't think like the normal YouTube interface will do it, the yeah. mobile interface. I'm just opening uh, Peggy's link. Stream video with YouTube uh, on iTunes. So do we know if all of the features will be the same once you get into a Hangout on Air? Is it, will it look basically the same? Um, as far as lower third and all of the extra features that were available? Uh, uh, probably not. I would, I would imagine you lose quite a lot of things. You'll have other features that you can invoke through YouTube. We don't really know a lot about it because it just happened. Uh, last week or a week before or something like that when they started making the announcements and we've just had some helpful uh, uh, Alan Levine's blog uh, has a video that shows how you can get them started and uh, how you need to invoke AdSense perhaps if you want to embed it if you want to have embedded uh, but, but then Alan has found out how to uh, create a video without embedding and I think he's doing it now. He's actually, if you go to his page, there's a conference that he sets up periodically, and you can probably see uh, what he's doing because he was he was setting them up at the time, and you can probably you get a lot more information on that page. I'll probably find you that link. It sounds like they're trying to I don't know about monetize, but make it a little bit less freebie friendly, which you know we're so spoiled like. How dare they charge us to have a group quality video call with people from around the world? It's our right to have it for free with no ads. So is the embedded feature, um, does, that, does that work in, a, in an event? Do you set up an event or is, are we just talking about setting up on a web page somewhere else external to, to Google or YouTube? Uh, good question. My, the event page always lived on Google Plus, and it sounds like 
they're phasing out of Google Plus. Uh, my guess is you could probably create something like that, but uh, you'd have to link to the other live stream, not the actual. Um, it wouldn't be integrated the way it has been. I'm wondering if uh, Google Plus is on its way out. I, I know that this community that I have, this Till community, I, I have been bombarded with spam so much that I basically kind of put it to the side. Uh, it probably would explain why there's not a lot of activity going on in the community. Um, but, you know, in the Google Plus, every time I go into Google Plus, I get swamped with just spam. And I don't know if you guys have experienced something similar, but I don't know. I'm hardly in no. Google No. I'm very, very little. Uh, I have noticed that there is one poster in Till who seems to... Uh, somebody who's selling language lessons. Um, he posts quite a lot. Uh, I have some, in some of my Facebook groups, I have people doing pretty much the same thing, just a little bit self-serving, um, annoying, rep repetitious things, but it's not, it's hardly noticeable, really. So, um, it seems like it's, it's really not too bad. I haven't noticed it in Google Plus at all. We've got uh, lots of communities that um, that thrive there, and I really haven't noticed it. So I don't know what could be causing that. So you you got your PhD now, I think. At least you're putting that after your name. Yeah, yeah. I finished up last year finally. <laughs> got uh -huh. that. Congratulations. Afterwards. Thank you. Thank you. You'll have to come on learning together and tell us about it sometime. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, that's that's still going on. I do it every, maybe every couple of weeks now. And, um, are you? How are you broadcasting that again, Vance? Are you still? Are you using? I see. What was it? Adobe oh, Connect or? No. Up until tonight, I've been doing it through Hangout. But I also have, uh, thanks to Learning Times, uh, LearningTimes.com. Uh, they've provided us for some time a grant to illuminate, or sorry, to Blackboard Collaborate. Oh, okay. And so we do have access to that, and uh, it's still viable. I think we have to renew it every October, so I hope they'll, they'll renew it again. But that's that's one thing we can use. It's uh, it's not quite as social as Hangout was, but of course we'll, we'll try to uh, see if what we can learn about uh, what we're learning now about YouTube Live and see if uh, like like Jeff says, he doesn't think it's going to be all that different, but I'm sure the parts of the ecosystem will look different, as you're asking. Um, Peggy has mentioned in chat that question answers, showcase, applause, these are not available in YouTube Live, so um, it, I, I guess it will be a bit different, or maybe they'll add these features. They were always doing that in, uh, in Hangout. They were always giving us free gifts before they pulled the rug out from under. But they didn't really pull the rug out. There's still a rug there. Just, we have to figure out, we have to get our footing on this rug. But we're not sure what's happening right now, but that's what learning together is all about. That's what we're trying to do. We're, we're living in a real world that's always changing. And um, so uh, we'll, we'll figure things out. And thank you, Peggy. She said something nice about us in the chat. And Peggy, of course, is someone we should all thank, too. She's always broadcasting regularly every Saturday, and that's really tough. That's hard. Um, so you know, she, she comes up with people all the time. She has a good network. And when she's not webcasting, she's tuned into others offering goodies and resources and info. Yes. yes uh -huh. Yeah, she gets up early in the morning to do this. So that's, we really Pe appreciate that. We really appreciate your, your input. And, of course, you're always welcome to join us live. Um, and often, sometimes you do, so it's really nice to see you in our chats as well. Speaking of which, it is just about to become Monday here in Pusan, and uh, that will be the first Monday of the semester, and although I don't have my 9 a.m. classes, I do have a little bit more preparation to do, so I should probably think about signing off. Yeah, well, thanks, Jeff, for uh, brilliantly coming up with this Plan C, and uh, Hopefully we got a recording. I just noticed that my microphone has been plugged into my web 
Now, I can't tell you all this time, so it may have polluted the recording. It may have two different sound sources. I don't know. But anyway, uh, we'll find out from you what uh, what you can provide, and we'll post it, whatever the recording If open does. broadcasting system worked, then we should be good. Okay. I'll uh, pass it on. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I can use the sound. Good. Yeah. Good to see you, yeah. Benjamin. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll talk to you soon. I'll be looking for your your future broadcast. Hopefully, uh, we can continue discussing. I I look forward to that. Stay tuned. Yeah. Likewise. Okay. Well, we're here right. forever, as far as we know. All right. As uh, Jay Cross used to call it, in internet time. So. All right. Well, that? thanks, guys. Thanks, Peggy. Thank Everyone you. else. Thank you, y'all. We'll see ya. See ya. Okay, one minute to Monday. Goodbye, Jeff. Bye. Thanks again.